What's going on YouTube? It's Ali Dope and I'm checking in once again with another banger video. Now today you will learn how to create a simple music visualizer using After Effects. Now this tutorial will be in two parts. The first part will be creating the globe and the rotating text in After Effects and the second part will be in Premiere, adding the final touches. Let's get started. Yes, sir. Now my homie hit me up because there's a song that he's dropping and he sent me this Scarface reference and asked me if I could do something similar for him for his YouTube channel. Now when he asked, I said, let me look around. But at the end of the day, of course I can do it. First, um, when you get sent inspiration, especially for a client, you kind of want to look at what's already out there. Take your takeaways from that. So I looked around the internet, looked around a few tutorials, and then I took a few techniques from each of the tutorials that I watched to create what I wanted to create for myself, for my vision in my head. Now, without further ado, let me show you how I was inspired by this idea. Okay, guys, we're just gonna hop right into it. You're gonna open up After Effects. We're gonna start a new composition. Uh, I usually use the ones they already have. HD TV, 24, 1080 by 1920. We're gonna do 24 frames. And then this duration is only gonna be 30 seconds just so it can be a looping type of vibe. So I can just easily transfer that over to Premiere. Go ahead and open that up. My friend sent me over a reference. So that's where the idea came from. So we're just gonna go ahead and try to follow the reference to the best of our abilities. First, you're gonna start off with this blank screen. We're gonna start off with just the text. Go ahead, click this text button here, click text. We're gonna go ahead and type. All right, y'all probably wondering how you get this type of outline text as well. So before it's gonna kind of look like this, like that. And the font I'm using is Go Bold. Usually it starts off like this but I just selected it and went ahead and made it like an outline instead. So it gives it that neon vibe like that was on the globe. And then for the, the stroke, I only did like four. Put that to the end right here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy it a few times because it's gonna be rotating. Yeah, I put like three times and there. You wanna bring it down till it hits inside. All right, so now that we have the world is yours, the main text, we're gonna go ahead and add some glow to it to give it that neon vibe. Um, I'm using Ultra Glow from Sapphire, but you guys can use any glow that you can find for free or which, whatever glow is in your budget. The glow I'm gonna go with is like a nice pinkish glow because that's the, the color on the statue as well. So we're gonna go with like a pink purplish, pink reddish. There we go, that's cool right there. And then you're gonna wanna adjust it to the things that makes it look as neonish as possible. So you just gotta play with the settings till you find what works for you. After you have the glow and everything is set, you're gonna go ahead and add the CC cylinder. That's gonna give it that, that rotation that you want. At the beginning of the timeline, you're gonna go ahead and click this rotation. And you're gonna click on the Y at the beginning of your timeline. And since it's 30 seconds, I'm gonna go back to the 15 second mark and I want about two rotations. And then I'm gonna go to the 30 second mark and I'm probably gonna do probably like three. That's dope, now you're getting somewhere. Then now that's just the beginning. So let's keep going. All right, boom. Now as you can see, it's a little dull. So what we're gonna do is go in the CC cylinder, go under light, and then just adjust the light. And as you can see, it brings some of the brightness back to the actual text, boom. And if you want, you could just adjust the lighting a little bit. There you go. So it's nice and clear. And if you want, you can add some, a setting to it, but I'm gonna just keep it like right here. Boom, bring that light intensity up. Bring the height up, boom. So it really gives it that nice glow. All right, bet. So for the text, you're gonna have the CC cylinder on there and the ultra glow on there, or whatever glow you need. Go ahead and save that. 
and now you have a nice spinning texture. Ooh, that, that's looking good, looking good. All right, so next, let's go ahead and add a camera in there. A new camera, you could do 35, whatever, it doesn't really matter. I usually do 35, boom. You're gonna go ahead and click this up here, the orbit around tool, and you're just gonna, yeah. Hey, 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 all right, so the world is yours now. World, she's cool. And everything in it. You're gonna just adjust the Z axis underneath this transform, just to give it that, that turn a little bit, and then go back up to the orbit tool. And then, there we go. I'll probably go like that. There we go. That's cool right there. And then you're gonna go ahead and there you go. Now you got your your glowing world. Now if you want, you can go back into the, the settings just to adjust that lighting. Make sure that lighting is right. Move the light direction where you need it so it can be seen. Ah, there we go. Turn the line height up. So if you see it a little bit more, boom. Turn the intensity down just a little bit. There we go. There you go. Now it's nice and clear because before it was giving it that, that dull look. So now we brought some of the light back into it. Next step is we need a globe. How are we gonna get a globe? Like I said, I already have a globe that I already made in Photoshop. I'm just gonna drop that into the timeline underneath the camera. And I'm gonna go ahead and click this transform. I'm gonna go fit the comp. So now it's, now it's fitted well into the composition. Next, you're gonna go CC sphere. Yes, sir. As you can see, it's a really, really small globe. From there, we're gonna go effects or transform. And we're gonna go ahead and scale that bad boy up. So it, it's just fitting inside of the, the globe, like right there. Cool. Now the globe looks cool like it is, but it wouldn't be me if you didn't add some, some stylization to the globe itself. Now for this, you wanna add and play around with the light a little bit. There we go. Maybe move the light direction. And always play with the keyframes. I'm gonna go to the beginning. I'm gonna click this light direction and then I'm gonna go to, like I said, the 15 second mark. Maybe do one rotation. Oh, maybe two rotations. So it goes like that. And then go all the way to the end. And maybe I go on negative two you know what i'm saying boom there we go we're gonna go ahead and play with the height a little bit bring the height down and bring the intensity down just a little bit there we go so it just gives it that nice around the edges it gives it that nice like i don't know globe feel cool Go ahead, same thing, the shading. Just play around with it a little bit. It's all to your settings and what you like and what you're trying to go for. Me, I'm trying to get it as gold as possible. The the text is spinning this way. Uh, I think that is counterclockwise. So we want the, the globe to spin the opposite way. So now we're gonna go, same thing, click the rotation at the beginning here. At the 15 second mark, same thing as before. Maybe this time we go um, negative two. So it's the opposite way. Yeah. And then here we'll go negative three. There we go. Yeah. Cool. And now for me, it's just not gold enough. So I do want to add bobble eyes onto the globe. We're going to put that like before the spear. Like I said, I'm just giving it so I can add a little bit of texture to it.
adjustments with Bobolage. I just play with the lighting and the shading um, just to get it like a little bit more goldish. Nothing too crazy. It's not necessary, but it just, I like to play with it. Also in Sphere, I went ahead and added some internal shadows. I added a little bit of reflection in there so it's a little bit more gold than normal. And as you can see, you can see that, that gold in there. So like I said, you gotta play with your settings in CC Sphere and CC Bobolaz. I came across this effect by looking at a few different tutorials and making something that was working for what I was trying to do. So that's all it is, is just playing with the different settings, playing with the different things. And I actually found a few little things playing around with some of the effects that I'm gonna use in another tutorial. But for now, we're just gonna keep this here. So as you can see, you can't see the underneath. Why is it? I wanna see my globe. Where's the globe at? Okay, so now you can see everything is pretty much set to go. I got a little bit of goldish vibe on my globe. If you want, you can kind of add a 3D golden globe for sure to get this type of effect. But once again, I'm trying to make it easy and quick just so you guys can get the concepts. All right, so as you can see, I cannot see underneath for the text. I can only see the, the main text here. So what we're gonna do is take this, you're gonna just control, copy, paste it, put this on top. But now it's like, oh man, that doesn't look like I'm trying to make it seem. So what you're gonna do is click on this, click on the text underneath, you're under CC cylinder, under full, under render, where you see render right here. You're gonna click full, you're gonna go inside. Yep, yep, same thing. The one on top, the same text on top, your copy that you made, you're gonna go same thing, full, outside. Good. So now look, yeah. But you know, I'm gonna show you the final product what I come up with. But that's the final. That's pretty much the, the tutorial itself. How to get the world is yours around the globe. It's just an idea, like I said, to for some visualizers that you could use for any music song or something like that. Just an idea. You can change it to a moon you can change it to a, a piece of sun anything that's round just think outside about a basketball you know something like a soccer ball with the text with the words like anything just think outside the box um yeah this is pretty much the simple version i'm going to show you what i end up doing with it after this um in the final results but yeah this is pretty much it